Hello everyone. Welcome to my sixth week of my spring semester of college. It's heading into midterm season now, so my weeks are filling up pretty quickly, but there should be a lot of stuff to look forward to this week, especially because today I finished my essay that was just hanging over me. It was a huge burden. If you follow me on Twitter, you know I was hating that. So I finished that up and I went into that class and she was like, okay, everyone can just go home and do the reading for Thursday because no one had done any of the reading because they were working on the essays. So I got a break from that. I was able to finish a main channel video of what I looked like for Valentine's Day with Austin and finished editing and uploading my vlog. So it's productive on that front. So that feels really, really good. I still have another midterm this very week to study for. I have one on Monday to study for, then I have another one the next Monday. Like it just, it just piles up. So don't have a lot of free time anymore, which is okay. I, I, I'm used to dealing with that. So that's, that's the beginning of my Monday here. All right, I'm out here with Anne Marie. And she's got a hefty camera. Cause she's doing, she's doing well and she's working on her, uh, her project for a class. So she interviewed me because I'm very special. <laughs> it was really just about my YouTube channel as part of her project. So we're hanging out now. <laughs> so luckily I had a break between class so we could meet up, but hopefully we'll take a class in the fall together about personal branding to help our YouTube channels. Um, but yeah, you guys haven't seen her in a while on my channel. So if you got subscribed, go check her out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'm the only one who does this, but when I have to wake up like really early for something and I'm scared I'm gonna miss it, I literally will wake up like two hours before my alarm. Like this this morning, I got up in a panic at like 5.30 and checked my phone and it was literally 5.30 and I was supposed to wake up at 6.30. So I got up really early and so I had like a choppy night of rest, which is so weird. Like I'm, I wish I could wake up that urgency, uh, urgently when I don't have something to do. But this morning I woke up that early because I had a second round interview uh, on the phone. So I just literally sat in my car. I wish I'd gotten this on vlog, but I was too tired to even like remember to bring my vlog camera. So I only was asked like a handful of interview questions. I think it went really well. She said it was wonderful to talk to me and that they let me know next steps if I am moving forward. So we'll hear back about that. Um, but so yeah, I had to get up really, really early. It was a 7 a.m phone interview so sometimes companies will test you and they'll call you at like 6 30 a.m on a saturday and like just want to hear you be coherent and now i'm going to drive to burbank which is the home of the walt disney studios i'm meeting with a woman i met through another lady at a networking event at usc and she is going to take me around her Disney office, get lunch with me, talk about what her days are like there, introduce me to some other powerful women in Disney. So it's going to be awesome. It's a lady I flaked on before. So I, I wish I could vlog that for you all. But honestly, I can't jeopardize this as a weird, like, me trying to get filming of anything. Like, it's probably confidential. So I'll do my best, but no guarantees. Um, I know it's disappointing to just see me talk about stuff instead of doing it. But sometimes that's just the way it has to be. So that's on my agenda for today uh, before I just go into a tailstorm of meetings for Wednesday night. Alrighty, so I just showed you a quick clip of the building I was in, but that was the Disney ABC television group. And so I got to hear all about distribution and like how they distribute the content they're creating for TV. And I got to hear about operations analysts and like literally from today I learned that there are so many positions that you cannot like prepare for. Like if I want to prepare for a career in Disney, some of these positions you just land in and you just got to figure it out. So that's what I was able to do. We got lunch. She introduced me to like a ton of people. It was a really cool experience. I learned about some things I definitely don't want to do. And all in all just revealed to me the fact that Disney is like so freaking huge. And as long as you're a quick learner, you can do anything. So sorry, I couldn't show you the actual like office part. I'm pretty sure that's like confidential, but I'm in Burbank. So it's like Warner Brothers is right there. Universal Studios is right there. Like it's it's awesome. It's dope. I never thought I'd be showing this on a vlog. Raining in a way. That's not fair. Oh, hello. Didn't see you there. 
thought I'd give you a little bit of an update on my life this week. Unfortunately, we're right in the midst of applications for internships. It's, uh, it's getting a little grueling. We're applying to a couple of companies. Luckily, we have heard back from a few. We're getting some internship, uh, some interviews. So it's very exciting on that. Uh, I recently found out that Katha Rao took a trip up to Disneyland and back today. No, Disney. Disney. Oh. Burbank. Oh, not as exciting then. I thought you like went to Disneyland without no. me. No. offended. No problem. So as you can see, both Katha Rout and I are very high on the uh, on the <laughs> career trek. Mm -hmm. Looking for our next job mm -hmm. and uh, wish us luck until then. Because <laughs> I need it. No, this is show just your, an email. Show us your resume. You want to see my resume? No, because then people will copy it. People will copy. You think people know how to copy that resume? People will do whatever they can to try to copy whatever they can. They copy my stuff and I don't like it. Oh my god. Guard is so protective. I would. Full disclosure. Hag. Yeah. <laughs> Friday, Lol Samri is here wow. from Redlands to LA. If you didn't know, I feel like I haven't really like introduced you to my vlogs, but if you look at Vlogmas, like when we were home in the Bay Area, yeah, she's all over there. I am. She's literally the funniest person I know, Thank so you. I try to include her in my. If you didn't watch the Disneyland vlog, that is so funny. Go watch that. <laughs> But she here today, we planned this for a while, even though she literally came last week spontaneously to see American Idol with me. They confiscated our phones so we couldn't show you, but yeah. I'm really glad because now we're going to have a really good weekend. I had a pretty devastating day yesterday because I woke up to rejection and it was just an internship, but it was pretty, like it was my first one I've been rejected from, so it actually hurt. And I feel like I haven't like been rejected from something in so long. Like, I haven't applied to something in so long, so I woke up and the email was sitting in my inbox, and I just interviewed the day before, and she said it went wonderfully, so I was just sitting there like, man, I was like really sad for most of the day, and Austin t did his best to cheer me up, but like, I was in the kind of mood where I was just like, I just want to let myself feel these feelings, and... I know a lot of times I say like, oh my gosh, like, you're a completely control of the way you react to anything, but... At that point, I didn't have the energy. I was so tired because I stayed up really late the night before studying for midterm, and I just didn't have the energy to, to try to control my mood. And I knew that, like, it was a first world problem, and there's no reason being sad because it's just an internship, and, like, that was an awesome opportunity. But I just kind of took it for, like, took it as, like, everything happens for a reason, and maybe I would have hated that internship, and I would have wanted something else. And so now I have the opportunity to do something else. So, yeah. But I, like, I cheered up by the end of the day. Austin did a really good job of that and now I got some fun times we're gonna see Zoolander 2 tonight because we were big fans of Zoolander 1, one. or Zoolander and I got my FabFitFun box so I'll show you a little bit of that <laughs> she's really sick it's really sad yeah it is when I laugh it's like suffering <laughs> turtle suffering these are the kinds that like your friend would be like oh can I borrow your headphones and you'd be like yeah let me wipe off all of this earwax <laughs> Okay, got that. Got a jump rope so I can start my workouts with this. Got a cute little, where'd it go? Oh, cute little necklace. So got that. Got a protein shake, which is kind of bizarro. They got Zoya nail polish, which is really nice. Nice. So, all in all, wonderful. There's a discount code for you all. I'll put it right here, as well as in the down bar if you want to get these, but they're always a nice little treat yourself especially after the day I had yesterday so that's good so lit I would like cut this out and put it on my wall my mom would get mad at me <laughs> all right hey hello this is ready to go home yes. Woo! Hello. Hello. Kanye West and LAX Ooh. just LA things just LA things all right we're driving driving to the airport so he's Dope ass girls. Mm, they're dope. like, ah! look at them. They're so cute. So cute. Uh, <laughs> Bye. <laughs> we were dancing with them. Oh my god, they're so cute. <coughs> There's people like that at my school, but they're not nice. Like if I start doing that, they'll be like, look. <laughs> <laughs> here we are. We're here. That you excited? Yeah. We dropped Austin off for his flight, and now we're at this weird area in Silicon Beach. Yeah. It's like super yuppie. Yeah. is where the movie theater is, but there's like a fireplace, and all of these look like they're from literally Sims. 
It uh, looks like a sim world. It looks like a model. It, it looks like the, I the Ikea. Like, Ikea showroom. So we're gonna go get some new tickets for Zoolander and then head to Abbott Kinney. Oh uh, yes. Oh uh, yes. Unbelievable. <laughs> This looks like my desk at home, except living. <laughs> this place is crazy. Oh my god. It's got like I'm nice gonna, like, little... I'm gonna jump right into the fire. <laughs> Sarah's sacrificing herself. All right, we gotta go. Paper boutique? Wow, I wish. Abbott Kinney. Yeah, it's whole street wow. Abbott Kenny. Very yuppie. Wow, we need to explore this, but I feel like yeah. everything's closed. No, stuff's still open. All right, sweet. Uh, right on. So yuppie here. Thank you for that. Well, I like it. Look at this all. I know. It's it's like, like the Getty. Is that bacon? No. Oh. <laughs> I was like, what? It's, it's <laughs> citrine. It's citrine, you shit. Constellations. Constellation finder. See, as, an, as a concept, I like it. I love this print. This right here. Wow. I would meditate here. Bless. That's really cute. That's Abikini for you. Cool. We order on iPads here. <laughs> She's like a loop in my I can't even. I know, I'm probably like scary. Like, <laughs> okay, now we look good. Ooh, they have salmon. Bison meatball plate? Oh my god. Bison meatball sandwich? Just how much is that though? Okay, that's literally just vegetables, so I'm not doing that. I don't. Oh my god. Like, you literally, so you can drink. You can drink Go Lab or Chlorophyll. You can drink lavender. <laughs> Sarah and I are like, how do we order this? Oh my god. Just, there's no way to order it. I create water for the end of the day. Good lord. Well, at least the ambiance is nice. Yeah, literally. So, it says napkin, so we're just gonna, I guess it's expanding? Oh, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I can't deal, this is why you pay $14 for this stuff. <laughs> we got bison meatball sandwich. She got her juice and Persian. Persian. She, like, Persian. she like tried to like Sarah's Persian, and she like told him, and the guy like tried to like call her this endearing term, even though he was super white. It was it's like, uncomfortable. It's like you know like okay, because I've taken Japanese. You say it's like Chan if someone's like yeah. than you. Yeah. But like if you're Persian, you're supposed to say like John, like like or like Ryan, right, like Ryan June, or like Sarah John. Yeah. But he's Khan. He's like Khan or something. Sarah <laughs> Khan. It's like oh, I'm uncomfortable. It's like okay. I don't know. I don't know. So we were at Abbott Kinney, which is a super crunchy like granola like place to go, yeah. kind of near like Venice Beach. And we went to a place called Creation, which is like a juicery and like Persian health cuisine place. Very much a place that like, uh, if you watch them, like Alex and Drew and like um, Lexi would go, like someplace like that. Very LA, I'm very like, like look, just weird those places. I'm like, why do you gotta be like this? Just be natural and like economical and just like normal. But like we go and then you see that we had iPads and like we didn't even know how to order. And the first guy that like sat us down at the table was so super cool and was like heard us struggling with ordering, be like, oh, your shit will be here in a minute. Yeah, I was like, how do I add this to my cart? And he's like, he's just like, no, you have you have waiters. And I'm like, oh. He was like super cool and suave and normal. And then we get our waiter, and I have this curse of uncomfortable waiter situations that they like. Not that they try to flirt with me because I don't think I'm like the you know most like attractive person in the world. It's not like they're like flirting. They were just like. They get nervous. They like want to impress us because yeah. like their peers were like normal like people they could be friends with, I guess. And he was so bizarre. He was so bizarre. At the very end, he like, the, this is the weirdest part about it. First of all, he like 
told Sarah he wanted to be another ethnicity besides white, which is the most culturally no, insensitive like, thing. Like, instead of, like, because I was like, oh, cool, I'm half Persian. And instead of being like, oh, nice, okay, awesome, you might like our food, he was just kind of like, oh, that's that's really cool. Uh, I have a friend who's, or, oh, so, uh, what's your name? And I was like, Sarah. And he's like, oh, so Sarah Ch- Chon or John. And I was like, okay. And then he's like, he's like, yeah, uh, I only know that because, well, I have a friend who's Persian, so, and I was just like, And he was like, I wish I were half something, and I was just like, oh my god, you're white, like, just take that privilege and, like, run with it. Beyond the Weird Barry Show comments, at the very end of the meal, the weirdest thing he did was he, like, put the check down, and you could tell he was thinking about doing this for, like, five minutes before he walked over to our table, but he put the check down, and then he realized... He like picked it back up. He picked it back up right after that because he forgot. He wanted to say basically like, oh, this is the $3,000 tab, right? And like pretend that like we had a ton of money on our bill and we didn't to like freak us out. But he delivered the joke horribly because he'd already put the check down. We already like realized like what the amount was. And then he tried to like take it back and do the joke. And then he just said like, and we were like uncomfortably laughing. And he was just like, uh, it's right here. Um, and he was just like, he was like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm s- like, I'm just a bad joker. And we're just like, uh, And then he just said something like, I should have never done that in the first place. Or something like really insecure and like really, really awkward. And it was just, I was literally grimacing the entire time. I could not take that. He was so awkward. He was clearly uncomfortable and insecure. And I was just like, uh, I've already been through middle school. Oh my God. It was so weird. It was bad. It really echoed if you watched last week's vlog the whole incident with joanna it was another repeat of that so i just always get cursed with these weird waiters and i'm just uncomfortable but now we're gonna see zoolander too so hopefully it'll be all better wow Saturday morning, Sarah managed to wake up, yep. <laughs> and today we are going to this thing called Artists and Fleas in downtown LA, and we're probably going to get brunch at Earth Cafe before, because that menu is really, really tasty, um, oh, so goodness. classic like LA weekend, so we'll probably be checking out some really cool little art exhibits and buy some little cute little stuff, so, you excited? Wow! <laughs> So natural. <laughs> so pretty. Yeah. It's really cute here. We found ourselves in nature, in the middle of the city, so we're hiking, which Sarah never does. Duh! Just kidding, we're barely hiking. Um, it's just to get to this really pretty park that has a nice view of downtown there. Real nice. Pretty iconic bench we're supposed to go to somewhere. So, good news, I saw a dog today. <laughs> Look at the- he's so chubby. Look at him. <laughs> Look, it's so pretty. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh my god. <laughs> what is? <laughs> Sarah in Little Tokyo. <laughs> <laughs> Horrified. <laughs> Even in like HD, it smells really creepy. It's supposed to be this little dude. God. My mentor took me to, and it has really good wraps with falafel and all sorts of goodies in there. So we're splitting that with some fries. It's good stuff. Sarah just dropped me off at home. She's heading back to college at the University of Redlands, so she has a bit of a drive ahead of her. But I had such a great time with her. Um, I'm so, so happy that she chose to go to school in Southern California. Most of my friends from high school kind of spread far away. But it's nice to have someone close because I really feel very, very connected to my high school friends and a lot of my humor is developed with those people. So like the jokes and things we like and find interesting are a lot of times overlapping with them. And then college friends, I definitely love them and adore them, but just I haven't known them for as long. So it doesn't feel like I'm as close with them. But of course, I've like met some of my best friends in college. Like for one, I realized Austin is literally my best friend. Like I never thought about that, but Austin's the person I go to when I want to tell him good news or bad news or something funny. Like Austin's that person for me, which I never thought I'd have like a boyfriend that was my best friend, but that situation worked out and um, he's home right now. I am heading out to a birthday party in a little bit. My freshman year roommate, Margaret, thumbs up if you know who I'm talking about. Her birthday was this past week and I have a pretty big migraine right now and my stomach doesn't feel so good. And I've kind of been dealing with this all day, but I'm not the kind of person to, like, complain about how I'm feeling because I think that makes the other person feel, like, guilty and awkward and makes them feel bad when they're hanging out with you if you're, like, literally suffering. So I try to just, like, deal with it. Um, so hopefully I feel a little better by her party. And then tomorrow I'll be prepping for midterms all day. Smells like hamsters in here. Are you filming? <laughs> yeah, that's definitely bloggable. Hamsters. Oh god. Good, sounds great. <laughs> What? Sounds like YouTube background music. Come on. Hey guys, this is my fresh Sunday look. I have to study for not one, but two midterms and go to a group project and pick up Austin from the airport. And the vlog is already 23 minutes long. So I'm just sticking this in here so you know that this is the end of my week on a Sunday. But I will see you all in the next one. I hope you enjoyed. Like if you did. And Catherine out.